Harry Kane has scored 206 Premier League goals. He's so close to breaking Alan Shearer's all-time Premier League record. But despite all of these personal accolades, he's yet to win a single trophy in his entire career. And this is honestly something that affects his legacy. The truth is, in football, you won't be remembered if you don't win the big trophies. But today, we're gonna change that. I'm gonna be saving the career of Harry Kane and making him a Premier League winner. We start off Harry Kane's journey at Spurs, his boyhood club. This is the club that gave him a chance. This is the club where he's broken all these individual records. But to win the big trophies, does Harry Kane need to leave Spurs? That's only something he can decide. I've scored 206 Premier League goals, but I've got nothing to show for it. Zero trophies. I know I'm gonna break Alan Shearer's record soon, but what's the point if I don't have a Premier League medal? I'm the best striker in England. I deserve more. This, this can't be my legacy. Maybe I should consider this offer from Manchester United. They seem to have a solid project. Maybe with them, I can finally win a trophy in my career. Nah, I can't sign it. I can't sign it. I cannot leave Spurs without getting them a trophy. The Spurs fans deserve better. I want to lead this team to a title. I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying to get Spurs a trophy. And so Harry Kane has made his decision. He wants to finish his story at Spurs by winning a trophy with them. And I guess it's my job to help him do that. The truth is, with this team, I really don't think Kane and Spurs can compete with the likes of Man City, Arsenal even. We've got Harry Kane in the attack and Heung-Min Son to help him out. We don't need any investments there. But I think Kane does need a midfielder to help control the tempo of the game and feed him those passes. Not just that, a reliable defender could really work as well. One thing's for sure, we're only going to bring players with a winning mentality to Spurs, because that's what this team and Harry Kane needs. Players that have that experience to win trophies. And so we make the signing of Ilke Gundogan from Manchester City, as well as Bresnil Kimpembe from PSG. You know what's common between these two players? They've ample experience of winning trophies. Gundogan has won so many Premier League titles, the same with Kimpembe at PSG. He's a serial Liga winner. And honestly, with the experience Kimpembe and Gundogan bring, the team honestly looks a lot better. It's now up to Harry Kane if he can deliver the goals. And so Harry Kane's quest to win a trophy begins now. It's fitting that the first Premier League game of the season is against Arsenal, the North London derby, a game Harry Kane enjoys playing. If Spurs want to win trophies this season, they need to win. Harry Kane broken through, goes for it, scores! Harry Kane on a mission this season starts off with a bang in the North London derby. Gundogan already involving himself and Harry Kane scores again! Oh my days! Could this be the season Spurs finally win a trophy? Harry Kane, he wants more. He's going for it. He goes for it. Harry Kane completes his hat-trick with a ridiculous goal. Kane is on a mission and Arsenal couldn't compete. It's over. First game of the season and Harry Kane takes home the match ball. The decision he made to stay at Spurs, I think it's coming out to be a good one, especially with the signings of Kimpembe and Gundogan. Could this be the start of something special for Kane and Spurs? Harry Kane continued his red hot form, scoring goal after goal and getting closer to Alan Shearer's record. Harry, you're having a brilliant season. Seven goals in seven games already. The media is talking about you breaking Alan Shearer's record. Do you think that's going to happen this season? Nah, honestly, I think this season is tough. But in all honesty, I'm not too bothered about it. I'm focused on getting my first ever Premier League medal. This could be the season. Individually, Kane is leading this team by example. And with the new leaders in the team, it's all clicking. But as good as Spurs have been this season if they want to win the Premier League they need to be able to beat Manchester City can Harry Kane get the job done against them unfortunately for Kane we quickly realized that Man City were in a whole nother level we couldn't get any service to Harry Kane wow Harry Kane and Spurs have just been dealt with a reality check even though Kane is scoring goals for fun just like how it's always been in his entire career he might end up not winning a trophy 26 games into the season fifth in the Premier League, title hopes completely gone. On an individual level, Kane is doing it again. He's the current Golden Boot leader with 18 goals. Kane is getting closer to Alan Shearer's record by the day, but that's not what he wants. What he wants is a trophy. Is once again Harry Kane going to end up trophyless? Has he made the wrong decision to stay at Spurs yet again? Well, maybe not, as Spurs have made the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool. This is their chance to win a trophy. This is where 
where Harry Kane needs to deliver. Harry Kane has been in three finals with Spurs. A couple of Carabao Cup finals and one Champions League final. And guess what? He picked up the loser's medal in each of those games. But if he can get Spurs a trophy now, that would be absolutely massive. The final kicked off with Liverpool having opportunities. The truth is, we're not good enough and we were just hanging on. But Cup finals are about moments and Kane was about to get his. Harry Kane on the volley. No, he's put it wide. Is that going to be the moment he repents? That was the one chance Harry Kane needed, but he put it wide. Is that the end of his dream of winning a trophy with Spurs? Absolutely not. Strikers have got to wait because one more chance is always coming. Could this be a chance for Spurs? Gundogan puts it back in. Son, clever pass for Kane. He's done it. Harry Kane has scored in a cup final for Spurs. Could this be the moment we've all been waiting for? And yes, guys, it's done. Kane has carried his team to a trophy. The world thought it won't happen, but Harry Kane has helped make it happen. Harry Kane will not be trophyless anymore. Yes, the Carabao Cup isn't the most prestigious trophy. It's a trophy nonetheless. The season now comes to an end with Spurs finishing fifth in the Premier League, but with Harry Kane winning his fourth ever Golden Boot, scoring 25 goals in the Premier League this season. Kane is now just 29 goals away from breaking Alan Shearer's record. But the question is, for next season with Spurs being out of the Champions League is Kane gonna stay with them now that he's kind of finished his story winning a trophy with them big decisions to be made by him before we find out what's next for Harry Kane, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment and subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 700k subscribers, so a bit of help would be awesome. Heading into the new season, and Harry Kane has a big decision to make. His contract expires in 12 months. And of course, Spurs want to renew his contract. He's one of their greatest players ever. But the question is, does Harry Kane want to sign what could possibly be his final professional contract? Because he's 29. If he wants to leave, this is it. I don't know if I want to sign this contract. It's a four-year deal, which means I'll be 33 at the end of it. No way I'm going to be playing for any other club. I did what I could at Spurs. I won them a trophy, multiple golden boots. I think I want to make a decision for myself. Nope, I'm not signing this. I'm rejecting it. And remember that contract Kane had from Manchester United? Well, they're still interested in him. And this time, Harry Kane has made the decision to sign it. The deal is done. Records are being broken. Harry Kane has just signed for Manchester United. He's going to be their new number nine. It was a tough decision for Harry Kane to make to join Man United, but I think it makes sense for the next step in his career. There are a couple of reasons why Man United is the perfect club for Kane. Firstly, they're still in the Premier League, which means Kane can still chase that Alan Shearer record, which he's only 29 goals away from breaking. And it's not just that. Man United are far more ambitious. They not only signed Harry Kane, they also managed to sign Frankie de Jong from Barcelona. The club didn't stop at Frankie de Jong. They soon went after Kayo Tomori and when Manchester United wants someone, they manage to sign that player. Tomori signs for United. There's no lack of ambition at Manchester United. This could be the club where Harry Kane wins the Premier League but it all depends if he can adjust on the pitch. And it's now time for Harry Kane to play his first game for Manchester United. And you can't write this stuff. His first game is going to be against Spurs, against his former club, against his boyhood club. This is going to be intense. It's a bit ruthless for from Spurs, but they've already replaced Harry Kane and moved on by signing Lautaro Martinez. But hey, that's football for you. Everybody can get replaced. Question is, does Harry Kane have the heart to score against his former club at their stadium? And will he celebrate? Lautaro Martinez? No! No, no, no! Lautaro scores! The player that replaced Kane, this couldn't have gone any worse for him. Harry Kane, he's got a lot to prove, but it's just not working. Kane with a chance. Tough angle. Goes for it, saved by his former teammate, Loris. He's going to end up taking an L here. And so Harry Kane's first game for Manchester United ends in a disaster. Not only did Kane not score a single goal, Lautaro, his replacement, outshined him. Did Kane make the right decision leaving Spurs? Everything is in a question now. But you know what? It's only the early days. It was his first game at a new club. The emotions against his boyhood club, it all maybe overwhelmed him. But the next time United face Spurs, he needs to be ready. Thankfully, in the next few games, we saw the real Harry Kane. Game by game, he was adapting to his new club. What also helped Harry Kane was that he was forming a great partnership with Rashford. Rashford, Kane, 
Back for Rashford. These two combining really well. And Rashford gets his goal. If Kane and Rashford can play together, Manchester United have a bright future. Rashford. Kane. This time it's the other way around as Harry Kane gets his goal. These two have completely destroyed Chelsea. And so with everything coming together, Kane and United are in the title race. This could be the season Kane gets to win the Premier League. United halfway through the season are three points off the top with the game in hand. But if Harry Kane wants to win the Premier League title, he's going to have to keep his emotions aside, score against this former team and get them the win. Kane, they've just let him open and he gets his goal against this former club. Club. Is he going to celebrate or not is the real question. No, he doesn't. Doesn't have the heart to do it, but he's a professional. He's still going to score the goals. Kane on his left foot. Bang. Oh, my days. Once again, Kane does not celebrate, but as a professional, he's doing his job on the pitch. This is exactly what Kane and Man United need if they want to win the Premier League title. After beating his former club, Kane continued to score goal after goal. He was getting ever so close to breaking Alan Shearer's record. 19 goals in 24 games for Kane. Top scorer that means he's just 10 goals away from equaling the record and just 11 away from breaking it this could be the season but not only that Kane could end up winning the Premier League as well but it's a tight battle between United and City that's gonna go all the way down to the wire there was no stopping Harry Kane this season he was coming after that record and so the day had finally arrived Harry Kane somehow on 28 goals for the season that means his all-time record is on 259 goals one goal to equal the great Alan Shearer, two goals to break it. And it's so fitting that Kane gets a chance to break the record against Alan Shearer's former club, Newcastle. Alan Shearer's probably the stand somewhere. Question is, can Harry Kane get it done? Harry Kane threw on goal for the record. He scores this, it's done. Harry Kane has equaled the record for most goals in Premier League history. Just one more and he'll be all alone at the top. Kane, lovely touch and there's the record. Premier League, most goals in the history. Harry Kane is alone at the top. A record breaker. The media is talking about only one thing and that's how Kane has created history. This is definitely a big moment for Kane, but I think everybody knows what matters to him more is getting that Premier League medal. Can Man United go all the way? And so it all comes down to this. It's Manchester United versus Man City. Final game of the season. How has this happened? Winner basically takes the Premier League title. This is the biggest game in Harry Kane's life. It's a chance for him to cement his legacy as one of the greatest Premier League players ever. As expected, the game kicked off and Man City was straight on it. The pressure was on. Can Harry Kane finally win the Premier League? Rashford takes too long to control. He messes it up completely. Bernardo Silva for Haaland. No, no, no. Erling Haaland strikes first. Could this be game over for Harry Kane? Kane's chance to break through. He's completely through on goal. Massive moment. No. Harry Kane skies in. That was his chance. A chance he's never going to forget in his entire life. It's complete heartbreak as Pep Guardiola and City once again have ruined Harry Kane's season. They did it last season with Spurs. And now again. So close, but yet so far for Harry Kane. He's got the record and everything. No Premier League medal. Just as the City celebrations begin, Kane storms down to the dressing room but he was caught by some reporters what's the point of being the premier league's record goal scorer but not having a medal all i wanted was the premier league title i don't think it's meant for me i don't think i'll ever win this as a matter of fact i think i'm done with the premier league what does harry kane mean is he gonna retire it's the summer, the off-season. Harry Kane is just chilling on a beach. Nobody knows what he's thinking, whether he's going to stay at Man United or retire from the Premier League itself. Last season was mentally very difficult for him. The highs of breaking the all-time record, but the lows of knowing you'll never ever win a Premier League title. Maybe what Harry Kane needs is a fresh beginning. And suddenly, while chilling on the beach, he gets a message from an unknown number, and it's in Italian. Harry Kane can barely speak in English, let alone Italian. But when Kane found out the message, 
message was from Carlo Ancelotti. He straight away booked a flight to Madrid. And the next thing you know, Harry Kane has just signed for Real Madrid. A shock transfer to see Kane out of the Premier League. But he's done his time in the Premier League. He's broken the record. It's a shame he couldn't win the title. But what he needs is a fresh beginning now to enjoy football once again. Playing alongside a super team like this, Kane can just worry about doing his job, scoring goals. There are enough leaders in this side. This is Real Madrid. It's a new season and a fresh beginning for Harry Kane, but on the pitch, we saw the same old Harry Kane who was scoring goals for fun in La Liga. Kane is loving life at Madrid. He scored 10 goals in 12 games, top scorer in La Liga, and his team Madrid are top of the league, although Barcelona are coming up with a tough fight as expected. One thing that really helped Harry Kane adapt to life in Spain was Trent Alexander-Arnold, one of his teammates. Having a fellow Englishman by his side during this process was helpful, and that's, I guess, why we're seeing these numbers from Kane. Meanwhile, you'd think with Real Madrid, Harry Kane would also have a chance to win the Champions League, but oh well, Real Madrid have failed to qualify for the Champions League. Maybe that's why Carlo Ancelotti was so eager to call Harry Kane. That just sums up Harry Kane's luck. Well, the focus now is to just win La Liga, which will be Kane's first ever league title. Kane seemed to really enjoy his vacation in La Liga as the goals continued. Five games to go, and I think Real Madrid have already won the league. And that makes Harry Kane a league winner once and for all. One season at Madrid, and look at that, Harry Kane gets himself a major title. But there's more he could go for. The Spanish Cup final is Barcelona take on Real Madrid. And El Clasico is something Kane has experienced throughout the season, but he's been goalless in both La Liga games. This could change now, as it's the ultimate Clasico Spanish Cup final. If Kane scores, he's just won his team a trophy. Kane using every bit of pace he's got to get away from his marker and fires it into the bottom corner. Harry Kane scores in the cup final. Vinicius Jr. scooping it for Kane. Chests it down. Bang! Oh my days. Harry Kane in a cup final has just done that. It's done, guys. Harry Kane has just won his second trophy of the season. La Liga and the Spanish Cup. Joining Real Madrid in a way has saved Harry Kane's legacy. He's now a league winner, a Spanish Cup winner, and nobody can take that away from him. Question is, what's next for Kane? Is he going to stay at Real Madrid and go for the Champions League next season? Does he have other plans? I told you, Harry, joining us was the best thing you could ever do. Real Madrid, we just win trophies. We're born to do that. Yeah, boss, I'm really glad I joined as well. It's a pleasure to win my first ever league title. Over 260 goals in the Premier League and I couldn't do it there. It's just the history of Spurs. They're just that kind of a club. They're never going to win any major trophies. It's good you've gotten us far away as possible from them. Boss, careful now. I don't like the tone you've got speaking about my former club. That is just plain disrespectful. That conversation with Carlo Ancelotti definitely annoyed Harry Kane. The fact that the world believes Spurs will never win a trophy, Harry Kane never won the Premier League there. All those kind of thoughts are coming into his mind. And after conquering Spain, Harry Kane has decided next season to finish the story. Harry Kane is the record Premier League gold scorer. He's won trophies like the Carabao Cup, the Copa del Rey, and even La Liga. The one thing missing for him is that Premier League medal. The highest gold scorer in Premier League history cannot be without the Premier League trophy. And so Harry Kane is making a historic return back to Spurs. It's time for one last dance where Harry Kane is going to give it everything to try and win the Premier League. The last dance begins for Harry Kane with, of course, getting back his number 10 jersey. But a lot has changed at Spurs. Lautaro Martinez was the main man up top and if Kane wants to play at this club now, he's going to have to adapt playing alongside Martinez. Players like Rodrigo Tapsova and a new keeper in Marmadashvili, the team was a lot better. Instantly, Kane felt that he's got a chance to win the Premier League with this team. For Spurs to win the Premier League, they need both Lautaro and Harry Kane to be on the same page. Kane looking for Lautaro was a lovely pass, but can Lautaro convert? Yes, he can. Harry Kane and Lautaro Martinez are forming a really good connection. Otaro could set up Harry Kane here, completely through on goal, and the duo keeps delivering. Harry Kane back at Spurs, 
back to scoring goals. Harry Kane and Lautaro had fired Spurs right to the very top of the Premier League. They were unbeaten and had a big advantage over all the other teams. Kane was top scorer as well, continuing to add to the record. But the real test for Spurs was going to be Manchester City, the team that has denied Harry Kane the Premier League not once, but twice. If Harry Kane and Spurs can somehow beat Man City, they've got a chance to win the title this season. Harry Kane threw on goal. This could be his chance. Harry Kane. Oh, he scored in the game that he's wanted to. The emotions are flowing through his veins right now. Harry Kane has scored against Man City. Could this be the season? Everything comes to fruition. Just as you thought things were turning around for Kane and he was going to get his win against City. Haaland happened. Not again. Not again. Not again. Haaland scores. Is is this the destiny of Harry Kane to always get trumped by Man City? And the game ended in a 4-2 defeat for Spurs. It's like deja vu all over again. Man City for the third time could deny Spurs the title. The thing is, this time Spurs had the advantage. They were still top of the league. But the team needed some changes. And so after a club meeting, they decide to make Harry Kane the club captain, which is deserved for his history and his records here. Under Harry Kane's leadership, the mentality changed and Spurs were winning games. They were taking the fight to City. And so it all comes down to this. If Harry Kane wants to win the Premier League title, it's simple. He needs to beat Manchester City. I'm once again facing Man City. I've never been able to beat them. But last time I was able to score a goal against them. Maybe if I score two, maybe three, maybe that'll be enough. I've got to believe I'm the captain. Let's do this. Harry Kane now. Can he score? Yes, he can against Man City. But is one goal going to be enough? Lautaro for Kane once again. And Harry Kane does it again. This time, he gets two goals against City. But is that going to be enough either? Harry Kane threw on goal. Goes for a cheeky chip. Oh, he's done it. Surely that's enough. Harry Kane is about to win the Premier League title. This is a historic moment. It's done. Celebrations are in order. Harry Kane has done it. He's won a Premier League title. If there was ever motivation needed to never give up and still keep trying, this is it. Harry Kane achieves his biggest trophy with his boyhood club. And it's so satisfying seeing Harry Kane lift the Premier League trophy. If you enjoyed me saving Harry Kane's career, I bet you'd enjoy me saving Neymar's career. Click here to watch that.